What is good YouTube? What is good 300? Today I'm back with another video and today we're talking about customizing our Galaxy Android Note device. So for my Note 8, for the first few months, I kept TouchWiz on it just to put TouchWiz to the test. TouchWiz has a lot of criticism behind it. I wanted to see if Samsung's improvements as well as the rumors from the past and what people perception was of TouchWiz to see if that held up. I gave my review on that months later, the Galaxy Note 8. If you haven't seen that, I'll put the uh, card up. Go check that video out. And basically in that uh, video, I proclaim why you should buy this phone. So now today we're gonna start talking about the Nova launcher. For all the people who uh been following me, you know, I finally got my finally got my four to six weeks on top of four to six weeks free items. They finally arrived literally like right after I put that months later review, I got a, a shipping confirmation and I received it within a couple days. Samsung, you watching? What's up? Hopefully the next notification I get from you, Samsung, is your next flagship. So right after that video, literally I went and I grabbed Nova Launcher. I have the paid version. There's two versions. There's the light and then there's the paid version. You can start off with the light to see if you feel it, but I highly recommend you just get the paid version because a lot of things that I'm going to demonstrate and talk about, a lot of things that I like are in the paid version. I mean, that's why they do that. You know what I mean? They put the best features obviously in the premium version. That's how it goes. So this is basically my basic setup. I have a very simplistic setup that I'm going with to start off with the Nova Launcher. As you see, I got my custom Google search bar right here. This is the typical time widget right here. I like this background. You know, usually I do a more flashy, popping, crazy Android background or something like that. But I went for a very simple look. A few icons at the bottom. I got my AT&T data watch right here. I got my subscribe widget. This is the S Pen uh, widget right there. Then I got my color notes. I love color notes. I'm gonna get into the apps a little, in a little bit, but I just want to give you a little rundown on the setup right here. Deliveries, reminders, and uh, scheduling. So I'm going to say this, man, like, because everyone talks about Nova Launcher. I see a lot of Nova Launcher uh, vids, but if you just so happen to not have Nova Launcher, I highly recommend you give it a try because there's some really cool features on this. So my number one favorite feature when it comes to this Nova Launcher, it has this option to hide your folders. So sweet. So if I swipe up on the icon, I get the folder to pop up. So you put your most used or your most wanted icon of that folder up front. So that way, if you tap it, you go straight to that. But if you swipe up then you'll get into the uh, folder, I absolutely love that. That's like you get the most minimalistic look on your phone, yet you still got all your jam packed productivity apps like at your disposal. So I won't go over fully everything because I have yet to dive into every single little nuance. I'm asking you the Nova launcher OGs, the Nova launcher experts to send me tips, send me clues, like say, hey, check this out. Hey, check that out. Themes or just suggest some of the things I should try and I'll build like a ton of different little setups and show them off on here. I want to get into the premise of how I have my phone set up and why it's set up that way. So number one, as you can see, so I got my, my widgets right here. Always want to know your weather. And then what I love about this uh, weather widget is it shows you what it feels like. This is not to my Cali folks, you know, because I used to be in Cali. I never knew about none of this stuff until I got out here in the good old Midwest. And what it feels like is most important, especially around the winter time, because it could be 34, but feel like five. You know what I mean? Wind chills and things like that. So when you get in this good old beautiful Midwest with humidity and all this other craziness, you want to know about what it feels like. Trust me, I never had to do that in Cali. So yeah, so I got that widget. Then I got this, uh, what do you call, AT&T All Access. Basically monitors my data usage. Because once you get to a certain amount of gigabytes, they start, you know, they start messing with your connection. You know what I'm saying? So you should want to monitor that. Just keep track, man. That's what I do. Then I got all my little special folders here. I don't know if I get into them all. I got a Google folder, my finances, my shipments. I got things coming in the mail. Hint, hint, more videos coming. I got a budget app. It's called Money Manager. I'm actually liking it. I might even get the premium. There's the Nova Launcher. Hit that up, get into the Nova Launcher settings, my sneakers apps. I love sneakers. I used to be nuts with it. I used to have like a crazy sneaker collection. This screen is very simplistic. Just got my subscriber count. I keep track of my subscribers. Thank you guys very much for allowing me to get this many. Let's keep it going. I love you guys. Thank you for the, all the thumbs up you guys leave. And thanks for hitting that sub button. Uh, with that being said, if you haven't hit the sub, smash that sub button. Uh, Samsung Note 
widget. So right here, I have this app called Color Note. I love this app. Um, you could color code your notes, and I highly recommend you check it out. It's free, but I get this checklist right here. And what I like about it, once you complete, it has it strikes it out. So I get to see what's striked out and what still needs to get done. Uh, I also have another get it done. This is like my goals. Thousand subscribers, thank you to you guys. I hit that. The next goal is 10,000. So let's keep the subs coming. Let's keep hitting the thumbs up. Keep commenting, keep interacting. I pretty much respond to every comment, unless it's something ignorant, you just gone, you know what I'm saying? Just bam, hit you, get you out of here. I got on um, my final green note right here, I got like a motivational quote. So I keep that on my screen. So, you know, I can keep glancing, check that out if I want that. What I wanted to do with this was to open up the conversation and customization. I wanted to hear some ideas and suggestions from you guys, and I could take and pull good ideas from you guys and build some really cool stuff. And also in this video, I, the main thing I wanted to do, secondly, I've got the winners to the Galaxy Note 8 Whitestone Dome Glass giveaway right here, right now. Basically, today I am here to announce I need a drum roll. Give me a drum roll. All right, you guys, it is finally that time and it's time to announce the Whitestone Dome Glass Galaxy Note 8 giveaway winners. Now, I know I took my time with this, but it's about that time now, and I won't hesitate and hold you any longer. With that being said, let's cue the drum roll. So basically, there's three winners, but after this video, I will be picking a fourth wild card. I won't announce it, I won't do it on video. I'm just gonna pick someone randomly, and I'm gonna give you the White Stone Dome Glass Galaxy Note 8 screen protector, which is still the best screen protector for your Galaxy Note 8. I have yet to see anything else otherwise better than this. I got my color notes, color coordinated right there, hit that down. Boom, these are my three winners. I am not trolling, I'm dead serious. I'm ready to ship these things. You can see, as you saw, I have four boxes. The giveaway was for three, but I'm gonna give away a fourth wild card. I'm just gonna pick someone randomly. You guys, I just wanna thank all of you guys for participating, the love, the uh, comments, the thumbs up. You guys show me a lot of love on the content that I create, and I'm very appreciative to that. Don't even feel bad if you didn't win this giveaway. I got two other giveaways that are live right now, and I got plenty more. There's still a giveaway for the Levitt case. So this is still live, it's still going. It's still live for the uh, iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus users. So there's another giveaway on this glass for the iPhone users. I got another package coming. Uh, there might be another giveaway, might not be. Giveaways are kind of hard. The hard part is getting in contact with you guys. Make sure you follow me on my social medias. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, because it's easier if I could just send you a DM. To uh, contact people on, on YouTube is extremely complicated. Thank you guys for all the support all of the positivity, you guys keep me going. More giveaways, more love, more reviews, more honesty. This is just straight up, I'm just keeping 100 is real. That's my style. I just wanna thank you guys for doing that. Now we can get back to the video, peace. Wow. Okay, so I just kinda wanna get into some of the settings a little bit of the Nova Launcher, some of the things that you can do, cause the Nova Launcher is really dope. You can back up and import any uh, builds and setups you have, edit your notification badges. It's really cool, you got different ways to get your little notification bubble to pop up on your icon. You can put it in different spots around the icon. The night mode, I really love. I appreciate keeping the black background. It's easier on the eyes, easier to read and see the things. I love that, especially late at night when you got a white background and a bright display, you'll appreciate the black a lot more folders you get to customize your folders that's what i have oh yeah um so like in my app drawer when i go to my app drawer i have these tabs this is really dope so like i could just swipe over finances my sneaker stuff my social media so those tabs in the uh, menu thing are really dope especially if you got a ton of apps i mean just swipe over get to the tab you need so that way you got less icons to look at to decipher where you need to go. There is customizations for your dock, uh, your app and widget drawer, you get to customize that. Desktop, so your desktop, you could, man, you can you can set it to have a ton of icons on there. Like if you want, right there, you can just keep sliding over if you want it, the icons to get smaller and have more room for a ton of apps. The list just goes on and on with the Nova Launcher. Themes you can get for it, icon packs. You can do a lot of really cool stuff with it. The customization options are like unlimited, man. But this is the dopest part because this is where you get to make your device your device. I highly recommend 
to all my Galaxy Note 8 owners <laughs> and all of my Android uh, fam to check out the Nova Launcher. You can check out the light version if you don't want to pay up front, get a feel for it, see if you like it and see if it's worth paying. But a lot of the uh, things that I showed off were a lot of the paid features. TouchWiz has a lot of cool features, a lot of some of the same features you get in Nova Launcher, but Nova Launcher takes it like a step further. Kind of like the industry standard. Like I said, I want you guys to chime in. I know there's some Android experts out there, some Nova Launcher veterans. If there's other launchers out there that you guys think I should try as well alongside the Nova Launcher, recommend those down in the comments. Any customization and settings with the Nova Launcher that you guys have that are really dope or theme packs and icon packs that you think I should check out that you use, share that down in the uh, comments down below. Give me a bunch of ideas so I can pull together. I'm gonna put together some really dope setups. Help me out, send me some Nova Launcher tips and tricks. I just wanna say, Nova Launcher is really dope. Uh, for those who don't love TouchWiz, you probably already got Nova Launcher. For those of you who are new to the Android platform, if you wanna try something a little different, get a little feel, change up your Samsung device, LG device, or whatever type of device you have, check out the Nova Launcher. I paid for this. There's no affiliation. Even if I link something to the Google Play Store, I'm not getting nothing on the back end. I love Android platform for the customization, so it was only right that I got into the Nova Launcher. Check out my Note 8 months review if you haven't seen it. I still say that the Note 8 is the best phone in 2017, regardless of all the other chitter chatter. If you want to be honest, we want to talk about the total package, the most well-rounded phone, the most ideal package that you can get. I think it's the Note 8, period. Um, and so forth, you guys heard me say this over and over. The Note 8 is king. Anyone who argues other than that, hey, that's their personal opinion, but my opinion is Note 8 is king. Uh, thank you guys. Wait, 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 wait. Go ahead, hit that like button, smash that sub button, and leave a comment down below and share your experience with me. I'll be back with another video. It's 300 views per second. Peace.